intention of this weekend is to firstly have the absolute most fun possible to really just let go and enjoy i feel like i've been doing a lot of deep spiritual emotional work and i just want to have fun let loose dance crazy my second intention is really to stay true to who i am so this weekend is going to be really a good time for me to just try and stay true to who i am and what my soul yearns for just made it to amsterdam airport and i think this is a good sign Hi hey guys, so I made it to Amsterdam. This is my cute little Airbnb, look at this. Yeah, I wanna tell you why I'm in Amsterdam. Basically, I came for my um, best friend's 25th birthday, so it's gonna be this massive party this weekend. And today is King's Day, which is a day that the whole city goes crazy and everyone wears orange. So I'm gonna try and sell these orange bandanas, these ones. I just did like a little makeshift morning routine here. I meditated a little bit. I feel like this week is gonna be a test for me to just try and find this balance between, you know, like meditating, staying in my own center, staying aligned with who I am, and then these like crazy parties. I'm here for it, I'm ready for it. Last night was pretty crazy. I felt this like something stuck here in my uh, solar plexus chakra and I could feel like there was something that I needed to release but I went to bed and then my body just like instinctively started doing this like <laughs> I think it's called breath of fire and then I do it for like five ten minutes and my whole lips start vibrating my whole teeth start vibrating and I just feel like this like energy moving in my body last week I had a bit of like somewhat of a breakdown because I kind of fell out of alignment with the way I had been living the past couple of months which is literally just prioritizing the present moment prioritizing my state of being in the present moment I kind of got swept away in the illusion of time the illusion of productivity I really needed a couple days to reset and find balance and find myself back into alignment so this is why like this week is going to be kind of a test for me because it's like coming straight after this like need for finding balance and then it's like this crazy party week so here I am to try and sell these bandanas and it didn't exactly work out as planned i didn't sell any but there was a high in that because i remember as i was literally standing there with my bandanas and i could just feel like i was shining and i knew that my worth is not based on the amount of bandanas i sell my worth is fixed my reason for being here is not to sell these bandanas, but to shine my light. So that was a beautiful thing. It was like a moment of, you know what? I don't care how many I sell, I'm shining, and this is what I'm meant to be doing right now. However, obviously then the mind comes in. I guess it was just a lot of like being overwhelmed with how different my values are and what I know to be true to, you know, society's values and what society deems true. But honestly, I do this thing whenever I feel overwhelmed or upset, I just sit cross-legged and I literally surrender it all to, if you don't believe in God, just say the universe. I speak everything, everything that's going on, acknowledge it and surrender it. Say, it, please, universal mind, I don't have the capacity to deal with this right now. I'm surrendering it to you. I'm letting go of this. And I swear to God, I feel so much lighter afterwards. Like every time I feel so much better. I kind of had this internal realization that I thought my calling was to start this spiritual lifestyle brand. But I realized actually the first thing that I feel called to when I'm fully in alignment is creating these videos. I only just got okay with the thought that, you know, I'm a CEO, I'm going to have a brand, whatever. 
and now I have to like be okay with the new thought um I, I want to be a youtuber I think this is my calling which took me a lot to admit as well I still want to have a brand I just know that my true my highest calling is in youtube and like i know this feel it in my soul in my bones like last summer i remember i had like one of the most vivid dreams of my life which wasn't a dream it was like more like a implanted image of like a youtube account this is real this is raw this is authentic content Hola. <laughs> this is an absurd scene i made it to my hotel room <laughs> I'm trying on my outfit because basically the the party on Saturday night. The theme is smooth and see through, and I literally found this dress, if you can call it a dress, in this vintage shop, and it's like so beautiful. It's this like thick silk, but I'm trying to figure out what to wear underneath it. I kind of love this one. It's definitely less risky. It's like a swimming suit, just like underneath. This is also very pretty. The top bit of it. It's so important for me, especially when I'm traveling and I'm socializing a lot to have this morning routine that just grounds me every day and reminds me every day, every morning, first thing of what's really important, which is really my connection to God, to this universe, to myself, to the present moment. And from that place, that place of love and joy, that's where I can start my day. It gives me so much joy and balance and strength. It takes a lot of courage to live this way, especially in a fun, crazy party weekend like this where I'm socializing all the time to stay centered in myself and stay aligned and actually courage to be my authentic self. I make offerings of love, well-being, beauty, and nurture to myself now. I just put on these affirmations by Lior Alexandra. I love them. I'll link them below. Something that I love doing when I feel connected is like, get this book out, Conversations with God, and then I flip it open to a random page and I see what it gives me. So let's see. Let's see what is meant for us today. Excuse me, but wouldn't this kind of non-stop editing of everything I say, think, and do make Jack a dull boy? Never. Different. Yes. Dull. No. Was Jesus dull? I don't think so. Was the Buddha boring to be around? People flocked, begged, to be in his presence. No one who has attained mastery is dull. Unusual, perhaps. Extraordinary, perhaps. But never dull. I like that. I feel like a part of me has been worried about, you know, this whole spiritual thing if I'm not actually fun anymore. You know, I don't want to drink. I don't want to take drugs. I don't want to do some things that maybe I used to do. And also, I'm a lot more conscious of what I say. So I might not agree with someone who's, you know, complaining or I might not say things that I used to say just to fit into society. And a part of me has been worried, like, shit, are people going to think I'm boring? Are people going to think I'm weird? People are going to think I've changed. But I think that this is just what I needed to hear. And this is so important because it's okay to not be ordinary. Because what that does is it, it brings room for the extraordinary, you know? Do I want to have the, an average life or do I want to have an extraordinary life? And, you know, that means that maybe I have to act a little bit different to the status quo. And I need to know that, you know, the stuff that maybe makes me a little different doesn't mean that I'm not fun. Doesn't mean that I'm boring. Actually, it could be the opposite. People could think it's very interesting and um, inspiring. So, thank you. The plan today is just to have a great day, as is the plan every day, to try and open my heart to treat myself, maybe walk around Amsterdam, do a little bit of shopping, maybe get my nails done, maybe edit a video. Damn, that was nice. I literally just got an hour and a half of pampering and listening to Ariana Grande's music videos. I'm like her biggest fan, so that was the best. 
feeling blessed. This is the outfit of the night. Here's my makeup. Ooh, ooh, kill him, kill him, kill him. The theme is electric relaxation. And I got my shoes on. We are now headed onto the boat party. source energy my word transcends my body just putting my shoes on this is definitely the most absurd outfit i've ever worn in public and i'm like getting anxiety i don't know if it's about the party if it's about wearing this outfit but i think i need to on the uber there i'm gonna whack on my valley flame meditation and do a little mm, welcoming and then i'll be gucci I guess when I used to feel anxiety going to parties like this, I would just drink a lot of alcohol. So now we got to deal with it another way. But oh my God, wow. If I do say so myself, I look insanely good. I'm literally wearing nothing, but damn, this is cool. When else am I ever going to wear anything like this? This is the makeup. Oh, kill him, kill him. All right, I have to go. Sarah in a dress because it's see through. <laughs> See me. Hey, girl. This is sick. I'm just wearing trainers for now, but I'm gonna change into heels. Oh my god. <sighs> I love how the title of this vlog is like finding balance and it's literally just flips between me raging face and meditating <laughs> but that is literally an accurate depiction of my life right now like it needs to I need to have both I can't have none but I feel like this is maybe a little bit uh, going from extreme to extreme however this is just the way my life is Especially this weekend, it's not usually like this. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. I didn't tell you about last night, but it was so much fun. It was like just a little euphoria for like hours. It was amazing. And I was stone cold sober, but I literally felt like I was on drugs or tequila or something. Like I was in another zone i was in my own dimension like it was insane it was so fun and like even my friend realized he was like tu es resplendant, which means like you're shining and he was like something about your vibe so people get it i was like so pleasantly surprised there were like at least three people who were like wow i, I watch your youtube videos i love it um so that makes me really happy and it was just like it gave me confidence to be like you know what i'm gonna keep doing this damn right I'm gonna keep doing this I love it and I feel like okay perhaps not these vlogs these vlogs are more for fun but definitely my sit down videos I feel like can really help people so that's why I'm doing it
<laughs> okay, bye. Go, go. Bye. So this might be the end of the spiritual Amsterdam vlog, or it might be the beginning of a spiritual London vlog because I'm in London. But basically, I just wanted to like give a little ending to that vlog, and I just feel like honestly so happy that I like I feel like I've finally found some kind of balance like my life up to pretty recently due to last year has been either doing things to excess or restricting myself and I feel like I'm finally at the point where even though I make choices now that might seem restrictive to some people e.g. I'm vegan I don't drink alcohol but not once on this trip did I actually ever see a drink or a piece of meat and think, oh, I want that. And I had to say, no, you shouldn't. It's just not something that I want anymore. It's like, I've experienced everything. And let me tell you, I've experienced everything. <laughs> and now I'm at the stage where it's like, I'm just choosing to experience the choice that I know is highest for me. And like, when I realize like, wow, I'm actually not even craving those things anymore. Um, it's just, I feel good. I feel happy. I feel balanced. My friend in Amsterdam looked at me and he was like, Julia, you used to have so many vices. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I did. And we even listed them. And I just feel happy that like these choices I'm making, they're not restriction. For me, it's like liberation. 